It's back on the Caterpillar trail with the M318F wheeled excavator. There's an outer shipping carton. There's a nylon protective bag. A nice metal tin. Yes, this is certainly very high quality packaging and there's information about the real machine printed on the tin. In fact, the tin's so good, if you don't like the model, throw that away and then keep the tin for your favorite cookies. Anyway, enough nonsense. Let's get on and open the tin up and it's got a nice robust lid. And inside we see a little cat booklet and it's full of all the models from Diecast Masters range. On to getting the model out and there's a piece of foam rubber at the top with finger holes so you can pull it out easily. And you just need to be careful that you're not a vandalizing oaf who pulls it out far too fast and breaks the model inside. And so finally, after all those layers of packaging, there's the model sitting in the bottom of the tin. Now there's no assembly to do and that's because this model is complete. Out of the box. There is a little detail on the chassis with the transmission moulded into the casting. And the plastic wheels have good looking tyres and there's a simple dozing blade at one end. At the other end the outriggers are all made of metal. And between the wheels the steps are plastic. The cab has got plastic mirrors and wipers. And inside the operator is a cool dude wearing sunglasses. The curved body shape is nice, there's painted lights, small graphics and nice handles on the panels. Looking from the top there's a video camera and properly formed lifting eyes on the counterweight. And there are textured walking surfaces and a plastic grab rail. Hydraulics run to the free section boom. And there's good detailing on the stick and the rivets are small and painted. The grab is a nice metal part with graphics but the perforations are solid. The metal bucket is wide and fairly simple. Let's ride this machine on the Cranes Etc test track and it rolls smoothly enough. And if we take a look underneath there is steering on the front axle with a moderate angle of movement. So you can pose it steering and it will trace out a shallow curve. But there's no modelling of an oscillating axle for rough terrain. Let's now get ourselves stable so for that we put down the outriggers. And the pads at the end also rotate to locate themselves properly on the ground. At the other end the dozing blade's got a good range of movement. And if you lower it far enough it also acts as a stabiliser and the whole model can be wheels free. It's time to make the operator a little bit dizzy so let's spin him around. And this cat rotates nicely. So you're all wondering what about the digging functions. And Diecast Masters have done a good job of it on this model. There's a good range of movement on the various parts of the boom and the stick. And the attachment for the bucket or the grab also has a good range of movement. If you want you can raise the boom up high or you can tuck it all in for parking. But you're all shouting, can it dig at depth? Well here you see it perched up on an unusual embankment. And it performs well being able to reach right down low. Enough of all that and it's time for a change so let's remove the bucket. And it is just clipped on to a plastic part at the end of the stick. Here the Cranes Etc engineer is making a meal of trying to remove it and in fact it comes off reasonably easily. We will move on and just offer up the grab and it's no surprise that that just clips into place the same way that the bucket did. The grab is quite a nice piece and it rotates very freely. And as you would expect you can open and close the two sides of the grab. They are not fully interlocked so basically each side of the grab moves separately. And they're both controlled by a shared hydraulic ram. Time now for a quick genuine imitation, a real life test. And let's do a quick loading test with the M318F. This is a high sided US dump truck. And this wheeled cat excavator has no problem at all getting high enough to discharge its load. It's good to see this cat taking a dump. In common with all new releases from Diecast Masters it is beautifully presented in its tin box. And the model itself also seems to be better quality. The model engineering is good and the movements of the parts including the boom and stick are very good. And it's a nice model that poses well with others and it's highly recommended. 